this evening with you guys. I'm Michael Osborne, I'm a Cornelius Commissioner, and I'm really excited to see your children play for us tonight. I'd also like to thank all of the monthly sponsors that have made this possible, the faculty, the staff. What a great, great group of people and a great way to impact our youth. So thanks everyone for all of that. Uh, recently someone had asked me, hey, you know, if you could be anything, if you could, if you could have one great superpower, what would it be? And I said, well, I would like to be a great musician that knows how to play several instruments. And they kind of looked at me and they were like, sure. And I was like, yeah, sure. I was like, maybe it's because I don't even know how to whistle. You don't believe that? <laughs> oh, yeah, laughing. I can't. Oh, don't judge me. But, you know, it's more than that. It's, you know, nothing more than music can create an experience or bring people together. So that's why I have so much respect for what your children are about to do tonight performing for us. And, you know, they don't just talk about wanting to do this or dream about wanting to be a musician. They're coming out here tonight and bringing us together. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and without much more to do, I would like to introduce uh, Samuel Sparrow and the Woodlands Ensemble. Thank y'all. Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for coming out. We are so excited. This is our first Woodland Ensemble concert of the year, and in fact, this is the first full year this group has existed. Uh, the kids have been putting in some really phenomenal work. We're doing this program only on four rehearsals, which is really remarkable for kids this age. Uh, but we are very excited. Um, we've got two pieces on our, on our portion of the program tonight. The first one that we're going to play is uh, Shenandoah. It's a beautiful setting of that song. Um, it's a great American song. It dates back to sort of the 1800s and sort of entered the lexicon of American folk music. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, get settled, do a couple tuning notes, and then we're, we'll play our first piece, Shenandoah.
Woodland Ensemble and also one of our co-instructors for our Woodland Challenge program. We're really excited. This is also the first year for our Woodland Challenge program. We also have our Brass Challenge that's now in its second year. But what's really exciting about that program is that program is aimed at um, helping total beginners, folks who just picked up their instrument for music and arts a couple hours ago. And we're really excited. There's not a lot of programs that invest that much um, time and energy into really helping folks just sort of find their way right as they're starting out their instruments. Uh, so we have eight members of our Woodland Challenge so far. We're having a lot of fun. We're learning a lot of great things on just sort of getting started. Uh, what does it mean to use our air, getting our posture tweaked, all sorts of great things. Uh, but we're really excited. We have our challenge program going this year. We also have our Woodland Ensemble going. It's a great year to be a wind player in Cornelius Youth Orchestra. Uh, so our final piece on the program for our Woodland Ensemble this evening is Waltz Number no. 2 by Dmitry Shostakovich. And this is a really fun piece. It sounds a bit autumnal, almost like it might have been borrowed from the movie Nightmare Before Christmas and that sort of thing. Uh, but this piece does predate that movie quite a bit. Um, what's really exciting in the original version, the orchestra actually utilizes saxophones. So it's really exciting. We actually have our saxophones here. Uh, so it's a great feature for them, and we've had a lot of fun putting this piece together. Uh, thank you so much for coming tonight, and this is Waltz Number 2.
Can we give them another round of applause? <laughs> So I'm here, uh, my name is Kristen Pecoraro, and I'm going to be um, building who I am. That's I'm the Program Tournament Coordinator for the Cornelius Youth Orchestra. I see everyone, can't see anything, but um, I think I met most of you guys coming in this evening, so it is great to see everyone here for our first concert, our first official concert of the year. And I wanted to talk to you guys about um, our community events for the season. And yesterday, not yesterday, last Friday, we had our very first one. Let's get over here. Sorry, I'm in your way. Last Friday, we had our very first one. It was called the Steam Expo. And we had over 3,000 students come visit our tent. And uh, I don't think quite that many came visit our tent, but we had almost 3,000 students. And um, it was an amazing, amazing event. And that took place at um, the Charlotte Bears Speedway. So that was a wonderful, wonderful thing that we did for our community and we had an amazing time and we had some very amazing volunteers and I wanted to acknowledge those volunteers um, today if I could. And we had um, Lorraine Crawford and Chad Crawford um, come and we also had um, Kayla Fugit. And also we had the Staples Time of course um, with us and it was it was just um, amazing how all of our instruments out and we had students come and they were they came it seemed like in the hundreds and at a time and it was just great and they came and put their hands on the instruments and it was just great to kind of tell them about our orchestra and also um, about what we did and we were just trying to get the word out and it was just one wonderful community event and so hopefully we'll be able to do that next year so one thing that we like to do is just go out to our community and do one thing like this. So another thing that we're doing actually is starting tomorrow, and that will take place at Bailey Middle. We'll do this tomorrow, also on Saturday, and also on Monday. And that will be for Angels and Sparrows. And we will be putting bags of candy together for them so they can have a trunk or treat event for the less um, fortunate members of our community. So that's another thing that we'll be doing starting tomorrow. Um, so your kids will be doing that during their normal practice time. Another event that we're going to be doing is called Buddy Walk for Down Syndrome. And that's going to take place on October 22nd at the Cannaballers Stadium in Minneapolis. And uh, that is actually going to be a wonderful event. It's going to start um, at 11 o'clock in the morning. And it's going to be for Brass Ensemble. And they're going to start playing the national anthem around 11 o'clock in the morning. And then right after that, they're going to play um, a number of songs for the Down Center community. And they will be um, doing laps around. So we would love to have everybody come out and um, support that. We actually really need some volunteers for that. And so if Eric and Miranda Larson, I can't see anything, but if you could just um, raise your hand. There they are, right there. Um, in the audience, they are going to be our head volunteers for that, and um, we need some more help. So, if you can either see them or me after the concert, actually, they um, are on the band app, and so if you could reach out to them or me, like I said, and um, help us because um, we can't do all this um, without volunteers. So, if you could please help, um, what we need is people to. We're going to lay out some blankets at this event. We're going to lay our instruments out. So this the Down Syndrome community, they're going to be able to touch the instruments like the sort of we did at the Steam Expo on Friday. And so, um, you know, these kids, they usually don't get to touch these instruments. So it'll be a good um, sensory um, thing for them to do. So we're going to um, need help with that, as you can imagine. And so we're going to get down on the floor with them and, and um, let them do that. So it'll be a really sweet thing. Um, so we need lots of volunteers, and then um, also help with our students and uh, musicians as well. So we would love, love some more activity. And I, I am working down the volunteer list that you guys um, had signed up for a parent orientation night. And I'm going down the list in no particular order, 
But um, if this is something that um, is uh, weighs heavy on your heart, and you would like to do that, then please um, reach out to um, Miranda and Eric Clarkson and or me on this particular matter. Um, and we really appreciate that. Um, another thing that we're doing, our Rasmus Hall is also performing on November 11th, which is um, the Veterans Park Ceremony in Huntersville. And that is starting, um, not the parade, but we are going to be performing at um, the ceremony. And so that is starting at 11 o'clock. And so everyone is welcome to come to that as well. Again, we, we do need volunteers for that too. And that is on Veterans Day, November the 11th. Um, and then another thing we're doing, and we feel, we're doing lots of stuff in the community, obviously, is um, the Thanksgiving food drive. And you will be seeing um, something on the band app coming out in the next few days. Um, and it is a sign of genius. And we are asking for people to donate. Um, canned goods, um, non-perishable items, and maybe some bags, um, you know, some non-perishable uh, other items like, you know, food items. And um, we were going to gather that together and we will be um, putting them together at Bailey Middle during practice times. And uh, we will be distributing that to Bags of Hope, which is a charity event, um, or charity um, organization, sorry. And we will be delivering those to less fortunate people in our community that do not have food for Thanksgiving. So that's another event that you could get involved in if you want to come to the school and help um, organize that. So also another event that um, you could be part of. Um, two more things I'm going to talk about and, um, are um, one is the Southern Christmas Show coming up on November 18th at 4 p.m. and some members of our orchestra will be performing at that as well. That's a huge event for people that like to do some Southern Christmas shopping. And I hear that there's some people in the audience that really, really love that. And I also heard that we do have some free tickets this year for that. And so I will be, um, the one of us will be putting that on the band app whenever we get those in mail, like we did last year. And then also, Light Up Cornelius is a tradition for us every year. They want us to come out and perform. And so that takes place on November 28th. And all this information is in your program. So if you have any questions, um, you can always ask one of us. But Light Up Cornelius is, um, is a great event that they always ask us to come out and play for. They like the Christmas tree. And then Santa always comes out. It's really fun and a wonderful event. So um, that's it. I mean, that's all we have for this semester. And I'm sure there'll be a slew of other events that we'll have for next semester. And who knows, we might have one or two more. So um, that's all I have to say. And um, we, but at this time, we're going to have a brief intermission of about seven minutes. And so uh, please feel free to get up and stretch your legs. And then we'll have the orchestra come after that. I will tell you that the restroom is out this door to the left of the fire extinguisher and then take a break. So um, that's it. So we have seven minutes, and you guys will be back, and in your seat and ready, you'll all hear the orchestra soon. Thank you so much.
interesting, and we are so excited about the cycle of pieces we're playing, all Scottish themed. Uh, for those of you who um, are have been in, in the loop with our communications and maybe following our social media pages, uh, we actually performed the same set of pieces at our gala that we had a couple of times on September 30th. And uh, we wanted to also perform this incredible music for everyone as much as we could, and so we're happy to play it again this evening. We also have a special guest performer on our last piece, uh, Ms. Melanie. I believe you'll enjoy her solo feature as well. I would love to share with you a little bit about our organization. I know that you've probably already heard about what we do in our community, but just about the value that we provide to our community through the variety of programs that we offer. We offer both performing ensembles for those who have experienced one, and in addition, we also offer educational programs for those who have no experience whatsoever. We are excited to be growing those programs as we just launched them in the last 10, 12 to 18 months and uh, offer those to the community at large. We've seen a great uh, overwhelming support for those and we're excited to offer those and to continue to see those grow and the impact that it's had because of those programs. Already we have stories of students who have had just their first experience on the instrument and already an incredible growth in just a short period of time through this fantastic educational program brought to you by some fantastic musicians from the Charlotte Symphony Orchestra. We are thrilled to have them here in Lake Norman serving our community youth. It's really quite incredible. Thank you so much all, for all of you for being here this evening. Without further ado, we'll get started with our Northumberland Folk Song team.
for you this evening is the Highland Games. This is a lively and exciting piece that uh, captures the spirit of the, uh, the Scottish people, especially I think in times when they're maybe having a good time and they can have a party get together. There are still events to this day called the Highland Games. We actually played at Rural Hill and that's where they host the local Highland Games too. And uh, for those of you who have been there, you're familiar. If you haven't, go check it out. But without further ado, the Highland Games.
This next piece is called Tributum, and it was written to feature the bagpipes with orchestra. Two different kinds of bagpipes. The first of which we do not have with us this, this evening, and we are happy to have our oboist, who will be filling in on that solo. And I'd like to acknowledge her, because I don't know if I'll get a chance to afterwards. Miss Braden, could you stand, please? And at the halfway point of this piece, we will have Miss Melody playing the bagpipes for us. I think you'll enjoy that. It's exciting, it's loud, so be prepared.
you again so much for being here with us and spending your evening here with the Cornelius Youth Orchestras. We appreciate you. Our kids do fantastic work and play fantastic music, but they need a fantastic audience, and that's what you were tonight. So thank you so much. In your program there, our next concert in the fall concert series is October 30th, so mark your calendars now. You can scan the code and get your tickets. Also, we just announced that we have a concert for the orchestra playing classics on November 13th, and then join us for our Christmas showcase featuring all of our performing ensembles on December 1st. We hope to see you there. Thank you again. Have a wonderful evening.